Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. All right, we're not gonna uh, do the second and third race in the NSX. I, I don't want to have to <laughs> be cheesy like that. So we do actually need uh, a Pagani Zonda. There is a Pagani Zonda race in the game, so we do actually need a Pagani Zonda. And it is mid-engine rear-wheel drive, so we're actually going to go ahead and buy the Pagani Zonda S. You guys, are you ready? Oh, baby. Uh. Oh, my God. Isn't that freaking gorgeous, you guys? Yeah. Uh. Right. And we're going to go ahead and buy a Pagani Zonda. Let me, let me, let me upgrade you. My, my hands are still sore, you guys, <laughs> from racing the NSX on that last race there. My brain is a little sore from that as well. <laughs> 580 horsepower, you guys, and that makes it ridiculous. <laughs> We're going to go stage two for now. Hundred ten horsepower. Believe it or not, uh, Pagani Zonda is not a very good car. It's a very difficult car to drive, Oops. and an even more difficult car to master. No turbo. the race menu. <laughs> Mashing triangle, you guys, give me a triangle. Do our settings in the race menu. Alright, so we're back for the MR challenge with a better car here. Laguna Sega. This is going to be hard, especially if that Goddamn Ford GT40 is there again. I would imagine that the GT40 or the Zonda is going to be there again. But we are in a Zonda ourselves this time. So it should be a little bit easier. Yeah, there's another Zonda, another GT40, Esprit, two roughs. Same lineup as last time. Five, six, seven. I want seven on this. Um, yeah, no camber. So, stiffness, uh, 11, 11 should be good, actually, 12, 11, see what happens. Uh -huh. 7, 47. We got down for it. Down by two. Go away. And uh, yeah, we got 800 horsepower. We'll go to three. See what happens at three. Three. All right, you guys. <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky car to drive, but uh, it's going to be a lot faster than the NSX once I get used to it and once we warm up our tires. <laughs> this car sounds amazing, if you're wondering. But the noise that this car makes is awesome. Do a style start, you guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, the handling of the Pagani's up. Wow, thanks, fellas. Fuck, oh my word again, you guys. Come the fuck on. Yeah, the handling of the Pagani Zonda is a little bit strange. It does not have good handling. It actually has uh, some of the worst handling in the whole game. But if you can get used to this car, it's not too bad. Now that, that definitely is not a good way to start this race, I can freaking tell you that. Holy freak, man, what the hell? Break! Holy fuck, no! Oh my goodness, yo. I can't even right now. Turn! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that? No, oh, now we get all the handling ever. <laughs> See what I mean? This car is fucking whack, yo. Turn, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like you make one tiny little uh, mistake of input. Italian Avant Garde, the race where it's only Pagani Zondas allowed, is actually like, uh, in my opinion, that race is actually harder than the Formula One championship. Not even gonna lie. Because driving this car is actually a straight up nightmare. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Please, 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 Oh, man, the handling is just not there. <laughs> it's like you so desperately want that handling to be there, but it's just not. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on.
man. <laughs> my my heart is racing right now, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie, I am right into this right now. My heart is absolutely blasting, you guys. <laughs> like my fucking neck muscles are twitching and shit right now. Trying to recover from the unbelievably horrible start that we got. <laughs> Don't do weird funky shit. <laughs> Don't start doing the weird shit. Now that we're coming up on the Ford GT. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> it, it's so tricky to pass some people sometimes in this game. Like the physics in this game are absolutely amazing in terms of racing, but in terms of uh, contact with another vehicle, yeah, <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. I really need to pay attention because one little mistake here and uh, we could lose it all. We're on lap seven and that's not enough time to catch him if I go off bad or something. Sounds amazing, eh, you guys? Really nice car, like, in terms of, like, looks, you know what I mean? Very nice car. You know, like, a Pagani Zonda would make me shit myself if I saw one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Very nice car. Just not in terms of, like, actual performance. to control, they kind of have a mind of their own as well, they just sort of do stuff <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> stuff that you don't really want it to do, come on,
Absolutely amazing, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Holy crap, yo. <laughs> Such a moody car. Alright, relax. <laughs> That's a fun car to drive though, man. You want to improve your driving in this game? Go buy one of those. <laughs> Figure out how to drive it. Once you've mastered the ability of driving this car, you are very good at this game. Like, you can actually stand up and be like, yeah, I drive Pagani Zondas all the time in Gran Turismo 3. Know what I mean? There you go. You're, you're pretty good at the game, man. Gran Turismo 4 has three Pagani Zondas. Well, there's three in this one now as well, the Pagani race car which is the car that you get from the uh, Italian Avant Garde race. So the GT40 comes out on top, as we figured, the Zonda follow behind, by the two 3400s, and that poor Lotus Esprit. Finishing out in last place. Oh, oh let's see my wipe out, you guys. <laughs> Man, I got totally pushed. One person pushed me, then somebody else pushed me. I had total holinization, and then somebody else gave me the gave me the boot. Wow, listen to that. Yeah, damn. Yeah, we got squished there. I went for a pass. Double pass. Got it. Mad understeer. The GT bumped me, we spun out. Boom! And it was the 3400 that hit us, the gold 3400. Damn, eh? Imagine if that was real life, dude. Boy, howdy, would that have ever been the end of those two cars? And the GT40 as well. Just scraping up against another car on GT40? Oh yeah, that thing's gonna be finished. Woo! My goodness. What a comeback you guys got, damn. <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you guys for coming out and watching this little Gran Turismo 3. You guys do me a favor, leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. And uh, yes, I will upload the rest of this uh, event today. Uh, Midfield Raceway, I'll upload it in just a little bit there. Uh, rest assured, it's probably already uploading, uh, actually, now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, man, freaking love you guys. Wish you guys a total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, in the last one of the MR Challenge, you guys. Have it good. Bye. Bye.